In this video we're going to be looking at a special type of tree that we call binary trees. Um, first of all, what uh, we define the order of a tree as being the maximum number of children that any node in the tree could have. And a binary tree would simply be a tree that is of order 2. Uh, meaning that any, chil any node in that tree could have a maximum of 2 children and not more. If you have 3 children then you don't qualify as a binary tree. Um, so now that we clarified that, let's look at the let's study the number of nodes that could uh, be present in a binary tree. Uh, first, let's try to see what's the maximum number of nodes we could have a, 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 in a binary tree of height h, and then look at the minimum number of nodes in a binary tree of height h. The maximum number of nodes would occur when we have all levels of the tree populated with nodes. So every parent node from the previous level would have two children and not less. So if we looked at this example we noticed that um, the, the final level is actually fully populated and we also notice something here uh, and that's every time you go one level down the number of nodes doubles. So uh, at level zero we have one node and that's the root node. Then level one you have two nodes level 2 you have 4 nodes and you keep on going this way and then you're going to have 8 nodes and so on and so forth. So if we were to calculate the maximum number of nodes, keeping in mind that uh, uh, the maximum number of nodes occur in a binary tree when all the levels have all of their nodes populated, then we come up with something like that. We're just going to be adding 1 plus 2 plus 4 plus 8 plus 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 2 to the h and each one of these is, this is 2 to the 0, this is 2 to the 1, 2 to the 2, 2 to the 3, and so, and this is the, the, the maximum uh, height. So this would be the number of nodes at the maximum level, the lowest level, and this is the height of the tree. So we're trying to find the number of nodes, the maximum number of nodes we could have in a binary tree of height h. Um, this is of course a geometric series, which could be translated as such, and the result would be the following. So this is the maximum number of nodes you could have. So n is always less than or equal to 2 to the h plus 1 minus 1. Now what about the minimum number of nodes we could have? Um, uh, uh, the minimum number of nodes would occur when every single node, uh, or, or you could imagine it this way, uh, you could the, the binary tree would unfold in only one branch. So every node has only one child and not more than one child, and they're all occurring in, in one, one direction. So it's all going down as if we're going into one branch and not more. So here we, ha we still have multiple levels and the height will keep on increasing but uh, we only have one node at every single level. So the number of nodes would of course be h plus 1 because we started counting uh, levels at 0, 1, 2. So in this case if we stopped here we would have three nodes so it's n greater than or equal to h plus 1. So the minimum number is actually h plus 1. Uh, and uh, the maximum number is 2 to the h plus 1. So there we've put bounds on our n. Um, now that we have our n bounded, we could also bound our h if we wanted to because we actually expressed n in terms of h. And the way to do that is to look at this part first and to isolate h and then you get something like that so you just subtract one from both sides so now you've put a uh, an upper bound on h and you could do the same thing on that side um, by taking the logarithm of both ends uh, well first uh, adding one so you get rid of this part and so it becomes n plus one is less than two to the h plus one then take the logarithm of both sides and uh, logarithm base two of course so this actually goes down and you get this h plus two h plus 1, sorry, and if you solve for h, you would get this inequality. So you've put a lower bound on h, and this is basically the lower and upper bound put together for your h. So now we've actually uh, described the number of nodes we could have, from the minimum to the maximum, and the height of the tree uh, given the number of nodes. Um, how do we implement a, a binary tree? We saw in a previous video that uh, uh, the way to implement a normal tree, and a binary tree would not be different except in the in the in the number the children representation. In the previous cases, we'd had first child, next sibling. In this case, we're just going to have one pointer to the left child and one pointer to the right child. They're called left and right, and there's an option.